Hi everyone, welcome back to Arcadia. Welcome to my magical lair. Wahahaha. <laughs> well, I guess technically it's not a lair, but it is magical. Yay! So I've had a lot of difficulties with magic. Yes, I have spent quite a good portion of today working on all things magical and I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm a noob. Ooh, sad face. Yeah, so this has been um, an interesting day. There's a lot that I need to learn, but I think we're just going to start with the very basics today. We're going to learn our first spell and we are going to make some mage armor. Yay! I decided since my armor was already running kind of low, um, yeah, I'm at a little under half durability. We're gonna go ahead and make some magical mage armor and just be super magical and awesome. Yay! As you can see, I have went ahead and built some of the things. I have my oculus. I have learned projectile and nothing here. I learned touch and dig. Can you guess what our first spell's gonna be? Bet you can't. I did actually already make a book. Like I said, I have tried working with magic all day today. So its name is Diglet, and it's gonna be Touch Dig. Imagine that. <laughs> but since I have been watching Yogg's cast Magic Police, which they are doing the Ars Magica, I figured I'd name it Diglet in honor of them. And they're the Diggy Diggy Hole guys, if you've ever seen that. I don't know who doesn't know of Yogg's cast, but for real, it's great. And I've got a lot of the things that I need to make my crafting altar, so we will also be making that today. I did get my arcane compendium. Oh, so many things, unfortunately, were missed. It's been a rough day. <laughs> but we've got here all the things in the compendium. It's a really great book, and it goes through so many different things. But I have decided, keep going, but I've decided that I'm going to make the Witchwood one, not the blocks of coal, I've got block of iron because if you see here, it kind of tells you the effects and I don't exactly know what that does right now, but you can see third line down Witchwood is plus two. I haven't been to the nether, so I don't have any of that yet. I have gold, I was going to do gold, but I don't have enough for five blocks, so sad. So we're gonna do iron, cause I could do lapis, but I don't have lapis either. I do know that this is five by five. Doop, 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 doop. Block in the middle, ooh, one. Now that's two, three, four, one. No, two, three, and that goes there. Ah, you knew you wouldn't do it right for me. So how many of you guys have gotten into the Ars Magica stuff? Do you know a lot about it? Can you tell me much about it? Because really, I, I'm so lost. There's so many things to do here and like to learn and yeah, I just, I have no idea how to do anything. It's gonna be an adventure. All right, let's place the crafting altar. And we need the lever and the lectern. Lectern goes here, lever goes here, I believe. Let's put Diglett on here and get us a spell. We need a lot of this stuff. I think it's one blank rune first. I know blank rune is first. Whoop. Okay, Vintium dust, a feather fish. Where's my fish? Fish. Fishy Arduido. So pretty. Look at it. Uh, I feel magical just being here it's with my fish. Enough of that. Fish. Clay ball. And orange rune. Okay, good. Did make an orange rune. Oh. Shovel. Nope, that's the used one. And pickaxe. Oh, spell parchment. Ah! Awesome! Unnamed spell. 
How do I name it? Oh, cool. Let us pick a thing. All right, I think we're gonna go down here and pick the paw because animals dig. How do I, how do I, do I just escape? Oh, awesome. Yeah, we're gonna go test out our new spell. So, I did promise last time that we would have a subscriber wall, and I was gonna prank you guys and just wait until like the very end, but I decided not to. So, down here is going to be the subscriber tunnel of love. What do you think? I know it's not super big. Oh, oh, how do. Ah! <laughs> awesome! Oh, I'm level two already! Sweet! So yeah, I know that the tunnel's not super big, but I thought that it was fitting. This tunnel was already naturally here, and I thought it was really cool and I wanted to use it. So I think I'm gonna spruce it up and yeah, make it look kinda cool. I'll take away all the dirt, add some, I don't know, something cool. Oh, let's check out the compendium and see if there's anything new. So yeah, I'm going to read through all of these because I don't know much about any of these. Let me know if you guys think I should be a dark mage or a light mage. I don't know when that actually comes into play, but I'd still like your opinion on it. So let's, let's make some mage armor. I think I've got most of the components I need upstairs. Hopefully I have enough. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, my house is totally different, which I'm sure you guys noticed. I think there needs to be like a, what's the word? A warning or something. House is subject to change. Here's my upstairs, this is gonna be my bedroom. And it goes into my mage tower. And then there's also a basement, but that's not really done yet. So we're in the progress for that. And I kind of love it. The idea that I had the last time wasn't working out and I didn't like the layout, it, nothing fit right. So I decided that this was the best thing for me and it, <laughs> it took a very long time, but it was definitely worth it. Ooh, I want to show you guys what I did. I finally got chickens. <laughs> I had to have my chickens on a leash. For some reason, chicken eggs were not spawning, so I couldn't I couldn't get any chickens. I had one chicken in there and it just disappeared. So I had my little chicken on a leash <laughs> and now I've got lots of chickens and I, I got an idea from a different Minecraft thing that I watch and I'm really excited to show you because it's it actually works really well. It's really cool. And is this yellow? Yeah. All right, boots. I just forgot. Feather. Awesome. And a hood. Doop, doop, doop. Woo! Alright, let's put this on and take a look at how snazzy we're gonna be. Ready? Ugh. I look gross. I don't look cool at all. What good is this? What do mage armor do? What, what do mage armor do? What does mage armor do besides make me look like a turd? Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to look this up, aren't I? Armor XP level. Is this gonna protect me at all right now? Gotta add stuff to it or something. Hmm. Well, I guess for the time being, we will put back on our real armor, try and use it up a little bit. This way I can do some research or you guys can give me some tips down below on what I'm supposed to do with this. I thought cool stuff was just gonna happen. Clearly I was wrong. <laughs> Let's have a sleep first and then I'll go show you guys my, my animal area because it did actually change quite a bit. Um, well, yeah, a little bit. So we will go look at that. And can I just tell you guys how awful of an experience I've had with creepers. It's been a rough life. Um, here's my tower. So the top is actually like curved. It's it's pointed. 
looks pretty cool doesn't look like it from here but I left this open it's kind of like a like a garage this is gonna be different I need to make horse tables too so that'll probably come eventually and here's the downstairs working on it and I made a garden guys I actually had a tree ant grow in here so here's my tree farm Lauren was nice enough to let me steal some of her tree saplings so I've got some of these weird ones I'm missing the hawthorn and this won't grow and this won't grow so if you guys know anything about origin saplings or dark saplings I would appreciate it because I don't I don't know anything I'm such a noob at mods especially all this crazy magic is stuff and stuff like that so yeah tips are greatly appreciated but I'll go down here oh yeah but I was saying I fought an ent it was awesome he was humongous and he had 200 level ah oh you jerk come here you give me that bow give me that bow give me that bow you won't will you oh you did power one that's that's all right it's not too terrible it's almost broken but look at my farm look at all look at all the things donkeys in there all right so here's the chicken coop I had one chicken in here and it disappeared so now I've got lots of chickens and there are lots of protected look at them and so these are all hoppers and what they do is when the chickens lay eggs the hoppers collect the eggs and I will show you my underground system I believe it was mumbo jumbo who taught me well didn't teach me personally but <laughs> did a video on the hoppers I think he just kept like one chicken in there but they're all feeding into each other and then they all come into here. As long as I'm online and the, everything's working, I'll get eggs. It's fantastic. I'm very excited about it. Okay guys, well I think we're gonna end it there with the chickens. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Getting into magic is pretty cool and I'm sorry that I'm a noob, but I will definitely keep trying and working at it so I can be the best wizard in all the land. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, there's a sheep. We'll come take you away. Come follow me. Thank you. Oh, there's a pig right there. Don't complain. Come on. Let's go. Almost there. Say hi to Donkey. Are you gonna be okay? Stop glitching. Stop it. Stop glitching. <laughs>